Hello everybody, I'm back again. So today I am here to share my little envelope pockets that I had shown on my last video um, that I had gotten some ideas and I showed you guys at the end the, uh, the way I folded envelopes just, you know, because uh, I had a picture in my head but I, I just showed you guys that. Well anyways, I went ahead and did some samples and uh, to see what you guys think. So these are the, they're using this type of envelope. These are, one of them has the window and I ended up closing it. The other, actually this one did too. One of them didn't and two of them did. And these are 10 and a half, 10 and a half by seven, and, I mean by six and three quarters. So, and they were open like this on the top. I had gone ahead and removed this. Why? I don't know. I just wanted it to have a, you know, away from the tuck. Um, so anyways, so this is what I came up with. I'll start with the little one. So this is, and it looks like this is a smaller one though. Yeah, this looks like it's a bigger envelope. These two look the same. Yeah, anyways, enough Patty. So this is what I did. And I, I'm thinking this can be inserted into a book uh, journal pocket. It could be as a gift just to somebody like this. It could be instead of the, the seam binding, you can attach it to a page. Um, bring that B journal. Um, like for example, on a page, you can just, you know, insert it like this and put like a little paper clip or uh what well, depends this one's kind of a little bit in the chunky side this this little um envelope so i think you would have to use one of those uh one of these to hold it down because yeah this one's kind of chunky but anyways let's go in there so the front is this and there's the back and so let's start with the back in the back i made um a tag and this kit is from shabby dabby doodah oh my god i forgot the name though but it's a it's one of her new kits i'm actually working on a journal for that uh so you guys will be seeing the actual journal soon but that's the that's the tags and then here this is part of the envelope i didn't want to take it off so what i did is i added a I stamped the number six and I just glued it there and then on the inside this is the inside to the envelope on the other side I added some numbers and see this one's a little bit tore right there so I kind of used the glued the the piece here where it would kind of close it or protect it and secure it more I'm hoping <laughs> but this is the inside in here again I have another tag and that just tucks in there and then again, this is all from that kit that I can't remember. Railroad? <laughs> this little piece here that I'm using as a tuck came from my portraits. And I just added these little pieces. And I just collaged some paper. I think this paper is also from my portraits. And this is just a piece of, um, of lace. Uh, a lace kit from TaylorMade Journals. And then it opens, so you have a cute little notepad here. I only put a couple of pages because I didn't want it to be so bulky. I added this cute little piece there on the bottom. And then here I just used her as a tuck. And again, just holding these little pieces of ephemera. And they just pop in there. But yeah, just a cute little girl. And I think these images came from, um, I know from another video where I did these uh, tutorial, um, people asked. I think they're from um, Geeko Gals, or Geeko Gals, I think she's called, on Etsy, I think. I just shrunk them down, though, a little more. But yeah, this is, this is a cute little, like I said, insert. I'm even thinking if you were to get a, or make, this is a, um, I guess would be a coin envelope. If you were to make a larger one out of maybe music sheet and decorate it this puppy would um, pop in there and you just decorate it and it'd be so cute as a gift to someone so yeah I like that idea too 
I should have done that before, huh? Oh, well. So that's that one. Then the next one is here. Again, B theme, because I'm working on a B theme journal. This one is for that other kit. I mean, that other journal. <sighs> I feel like I'm out of air. I'm like running back and forth. Um, okay, so this, these are images from my porch prints. One of her B kits. I know she's got a lot of them. And that's the back. Again, I used the... Uh, the same thing I mean did the same thing here is a journaling card I made and these I just bought them <sighs> I can't remember who they're from but I just purchased um, these um, postcards beautiful I just can't remember who oh lord okay that's the uh, I feel the where the the window was and on this side, I don't think I showed the tag. Push that back in. Again, another little tag here. And then it opens. And this one is just like this. The excess, I ended up folding it in to create this little tuck. And it's just holding these pieces of ephemera in there. And then uh, you got the little notepad over here which you could put some lace I should have put some lace I just thought about that and here is a little stamp that came with uh, one of the kits from uh, my porch friends and I just you know added some some three different types of lace to to, to be accurate and then this little image um, also my porch prints so yeah I think these are so cute just to use up your envelopes and add them to your journals and again pop it into a pocket or here with the paper clip really cute and very simple guys so that's this one and then this was uh, a fun one I had I went a little more on this one so this one let me take out the seam binding this one is a, a two-faced one you got a pocket in the back and then you got this on the front I will start on the back on the back I just the envelope I ended up folding it up, I think. Did I? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I ended up folding it up. And um, yeah, so actually this was an envelope like this. And I just, well, this way, I just folded it up like that. But it was, uh, you know, not as not as bad as this one. So yeah, that's that's how this one went. And then this is the tag I made. Which I should have sewn before I covered the back, but you know, you get crazy. <laughs> and then here, another one of those um, cute postcards that I can't remember. Just a little bit of collage in different laces. A little piece of uh, a floral, floral trim there. And then here was the side of the opening of the envelope. I made another cute little tag. And so that just hides in there. So then you turn it around and you have this beautiful image of a rose again and uh, your little decorations a little bit of trim there and then this one opens like this I decided to make it a flap one for extra journaling two because here's a tuck and if you have stuff in there this will protect it from them sliding out so yeah it serves two purposes and then on the inside I just um, paper clipped this postcard um and just random pieces of ephemera and then i put a coffee dyed uh, sheet of paper for journaling space because as you could see you know it's an envelope so if you were to gift it to somebody you know they got to have a little space to journal so i figured i'm going to put a coffee dyed paper there so yeah here this is just a cute little um oh my goodness what do you call these like a little snippet and just added a little button and that's just for decoration purposes here is a tag again this is from shabby dabby doodas kit here i didn't know whether to leave it out it's a a little notepad and then i put it enough where if you have it down you know it goes all the way over there and it won't interfere and you have a pocket here and I just had it added this journaling card. So that just tucks back there. 
And so these could be left like that. What I did is I just popped them in there just, just because. But I think it's so cute. Um, I love the way they turned out. And um, yeah, this is my little quick project on envelopes. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think. And um, yeah, that's all for today. I will see you guys on my next video. You guys take care. God bless. Bye.